Hey guys, welcome. This is That One Apple Guy, and today we're going to be seeing if the iPhone SE, first generation, is still good in 2023. Be sure to like and subscribe, and let's see. Using the iPhone SE is very small with its little 4-inch form factor, and the camera actually records at 4K at 30 frames per second, which is crazy. Let's go see it. Before we see the photo and picture samples, we have a 12 megapixel on the back and a 1.2 megapixel on the front. Here's a video test on the iPhone SE here. Right now we're recording on the iPhone 11. Um, this is 4K at 30 frames per second. Um, it's going to be HD though at uh, 60 frames just because I'm going to compress it. But um, yeah, how does it look? It's definitely shaky, but um, it has good color reproduction. Definitely um, not as good as any higher end newer iPhone, but um, definitely very good. If we get zoomed in here on this flower, let's go get that. That looks pretty nice. So, overall, the 4K camera, I give it a thumbs up, but it definitely needs to be more um, stabilized because it's definitely not too stabilized, it's very shaky. In 2023, the phone is quite slow, and the reason for that is it features an Apple A9 Fusion chip, which is quite slow, the chip's from 2015, and only 2 gigabytes of RAM, which is quite slow, and it's stuck on iOS 15, which is not good. On the bottom here, we still have that headphone jack, microphone, speaker, and our lightning connector. It's nice that we have a headphone jack. On the right side of the phone, we see our SIM tray. On the top, we have a power button. On the side, we have our mute switch and our circular up and down volume buttons. The phone features 4G LTE and it is wonderful to make calls, but it's not 5G. The phone also does not have true tone, which is a real disappointment, but it does have dark mode and light mode. We don't have dual speakers, but we're still going to do a sound test with a single speaker. Walk away from it a bit. That's how it sounds. Standing about 20 feet away. Alright, now I'm really far away. You can still hear it. Now I'm gonna go. I'd say this is about 50 to 100 feet. Uh, about 50 feet. I could still hear it, but barely. Now I'm all the way across the street, and I can barely hear it. So actually, really good loudspeakers. It's not dual speakers, but it does blow me away how loud these speakers get, so it's pretty good. Overall, I think this phone is great for an elderly person or a younger person. But I wouldn't use this as my daily phone. I would use it as some secondary device. But thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And peace out.